what's up guys um welcome back to my channel yay um so today i'm gonna be doing a tutorial as you can see i'm gonna be doing this tutorial today i did this look on my cousin um on her birthday yeah I did this look on my cousin on her birthday and um, I loved it so much that I wanted to recreate it and film a video for you guys. I filmed this once before and it wasn't working out so hopefully this time around it's okay. Um, so uh, if you didn't catch anything um, that I used, I will definitely um, post it, post everything in the description bar thingy down below. And yeah, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetic 1 palette, the first palette that came out. Um, and I'm always going to be using the one with the ribbon side. Just letting you know that now beforehand. And yeah. So if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to start with Max Matchmaker. And I'm going to use that as my foundation, of course, and using a foundation brush to blend everything out. And then I'm going to use Revlon's Photo Ready Brightener under my eyes. I'm going to apply this under my eyes and the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to be blending that with a blending brush. And then I'm going to use Adrienne Wines Maybelline Concealer in Medium. And just directly apply that from the tube and blending that with the same blending brush. And then, I forgot to show you but I'm using this Studio Finish Concealer for my spotted areas. And then I'm going to be using Select Cover Up Concealer. Um, where I use my previous concealer and around my nose area and then I'm going to blend. It's going too fast. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my MSF Natural to set everything. And then I'm going to do my brows off camera like always. Okay, so I did my brows and I- oh, I did my brows, I did one eye so it's fast though for me to do and this is what the eyes will look like so I'm going to use BH Cosmetic 1 palette and with the purple ribbon uh, side first I'm going to prime my lids with Painterly Paint Pot like always and then from the palette I'm going to take the soft brown at the corner there to to define my crease and I'm just going to bring this up all the way to the eyebrows and then I'm going to be taking this metallic silver purple color and I'm going to pop this all over my lids and then I'm going to be changing my brush into a crease brush and using the same color, after that, I'm going to smoke it out. And then I'm going to repack the color I lost. And then I'm going to take this matte black color and taking an angled brush. And I'm going to apply this other outer part of my lid and crease, creating a V shape and blending that out. There's a lot of blending that involves in this look. And then I'm going to take the champagne white, the uh, whitish yellow color, and I'm going to pop this all over my brow bone and my inner tear duct and blend that together. And then I'm going to take the same color and pop this on my bottom lashes, lash line, and the black as well. So whatever you do on top, you do on bottom. And then I'm going to... 
after I show you my shadows, I'm going to align my eyeliner off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did my eyeliner. I did no flick at the end because it's already dramatic. So I'm going to use Max Black Track Gel Eyeliner and any pencil that's sharpened or whatever. And we're just going to dip that in and pop this in our waterline. After that, I'm going to curl my lashes. And then I'm going to be doing my infamous 5 mascara one by one. The Colossal, the Colossal Cat Pie, the Omega Flush, and the Falsies, all Maybelline. And the eyes are finished. On to the rest of our face. I'm going to contour with Annabelle's Duo and the matte side. After that, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Mellow Wine Blusher and just apply this on my cheeks. And then it's lips time. I'm going to be using two lip products. The first product I'm going to be using is the Revlon Matte Shade in Mover It Over. And then I'm going to be using Mary Kay's Lip Gloss in Cafe to give a nice glossy look. And then that is the finished look. Definitely follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page for more updates. And if you repeat this look, definitely I want to see on my Facebook or my Twitter. I hope you enjoy this look and I'll definitely see my next. Bye.